welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. And in this episode, we, uh, we got quite a few things to do. Uh, this area of the game is pretty notorious, uh, at least for me, for being um, a, a little tedious in some areas. But I mean, I guess, I guess it's not all that bad. But whatever, first, first thing in the video we got is a puzzle. Uh, yeah, damn area, power supply panel. Designate a point to receive power. Power can be supplied to any location up to two points away. Change points. Yeah, this thing's, um, you only get three tries with this thing so that every one of these, um, blinking red lights turns green. And I think it's like this. Uh, I could be wrong. Okay. Oh no, there you go. There you go. Yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> so yeah, just do it the same way I did. And there you go, you got power. Let there be light. We done it. That's it. Because you could be here forever trying to figure out, you know, which which combination you could press. I, I don't know that if there's um, different ways you could do it or if that's the specific way. But... I don't know. You, you can figure it out yourself. I believe in you guys. All right. Um, some handgun ammo there. I'm sure, if I want to take that. You know what? I will take it. How much does it give me? Thirty, hopefully, or fifteen. Thirty. All right. It's quite a lot of ammo. I don't remember where I left my handgun though. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's right. We're in the last area of the game, the treatment plant. I probably left it in the factory area. There's the magnum. There's that. Oh, that's right. Billy has it. Ah, damn. So now we got power to the elevator here, and we gotta watch out at the bottom because there are zombies. And we don't exactly have much health right now. Damn it. Uh, I don't think he could come over here though, last time I checked. Oh, he's coming over here. Oh yeah, there you go. He kind of just like, <laughs> he just gets stuck over there for some reason. Should blow his leg off. <laughs> Alright. You know what, I'm gonna try knifing them from here. Can I knife him? I don't know. I think he's too far away. There you go. Oh. I actually thought he was coming over here for a second. Try not to get too close. There you go. So yeah, there, here's a way to do this area, I guess, but my knife is not reaching them. Get closer, come on guys. There you go. <laughs> I know this is like super cheesing, but it, it, it freaking works. <laughs> like what is that noise they're making? <laughs> oh man, this is great. There you go, he's dead. Also, that knife, this knife is really freaking huge. You would think it'd do more damage to them. Still alive, right? Oh no, he's dead. Okay. So that's a way to clear this area. For some reason, they just can't get on that platform. I guess it's because it's considered like a transition kind of thing. I don't know. And there's a green and red combination right there. Also some... an alcohol bottle. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make some right now though. Uh, there... There still is leech monsters in this area, don't... Yeah, don't think they're gone. There's not that many left, but there, there is, I think, maybe one left? I don't... I don't remember. 
There might be only one left. But yeah, I don't want to... Uh, pe peculiar... Uh, I don't know the word. I just don't want to pick it up. There you go. <laughs> Can I... Oh, that's right. I don't have enough space. Uh, I could just drop the ink ribbon. I don't need that right now. And I could just combine these. Because we are not in the best condition we could be in. We... <laughs> Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, <laughs> damn it. Uh, that we took we took quite a beating from the tyrant that we fought earlier. I was hoping I wouldn't take much damage, but I did. Oh look, it was an umbrella logo right there. And yep, we got that guy. <laughs> We can't exactly go into that door right there that was off to the left because we need a valve. So just run in here, get away from him. And here's a map, and there's a zombo right there. It's a map for the entire entire treatment plant. Yep. Where are we exactly? Oh, there we are. We we're right there at the bottom left. Just another alcohol bottle there, but we've got no use for it. It's a pull table and a pinball machine over there. It's a little like bar break room, I guess. So I'm not joking when I say this, but this whole area is dedicated to getting one item specifically, one item. And it's right up there. That key card that's stuck up there on that ledge is what's going to take us to the final room of the game. <laughs> but you got to jump through a whole lot of hoops just to get it. It's it's so silly. There's space for a battery. Yeah, we got to find a battery, but it's not enough that we can find the battery. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll see what I mean. There's usually herbs here on uh, lower difficulties, but hard, there's none. Kind of mean, but oh well. And in this room, oh yeah, this room, oh. And there's the valve handle, but we can't get over there. Because uh, we can't jump, exactly. There's <laughs> no jumping in Resident Evil games. Take the shotgun ammo, use it. But yeah, we obviously gotta get to over there by some means, but we can't do it without Billy, so we need to go find Billy first, which is not, he's not that far off, actually. So, let's go get him. There's a bunch of leeches on these stairs. I have no idea why. They don't do anything. Reservoir's room. Okay. Billy! There he is. Oh, wow. Look at the frames on that water. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? Hmm? Ooh. What could have done this? Really? They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy's having a moment. <laughs> yeah, he's getting like a flashback there. It's kind of weird. All right, now we got Billy back in. He's in danger. Oh crap! <laughs> oh no, Billy. Uh, let's give him this ammo here. There you go. 135 pistol bullets. Not that bad. Not that bad at this point in the game. And nine ink. In Holy crap! <laughs> I forgot how much stuff we had. All right. Uh, so Billy. Billy boy, come with me. Alright, so we go over here to this story with the biohazard symbol. Uh, it's locked. And actually, lead, I think it leads to, um... Huh. 
Yeah, it leads to one uh, where we need to use that key card at. Which will take us to the final room of the game. But of course, we can't do it that way. We gotta go all the way around. Because... Uh, so we're out of horror. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I, I didn't develop this game. I didn't plan it. Alright, so... We're back in this room now. With... I swear to God, the worst puzzle in Resident Evil history in all of the games. This is the worst one. It is monotonous and it's just not fun. It's boring. I'll check it out. Roger. Uh, all right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna send Billy down. I think we should heal Billy. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go ahead and just heal Billy. But yeah, this, this, oh my god, this freaking puzzle. So, what do you think we have to do here? Well, this thing here, uh, we keep, we need to use Rebecca because, uh, I don't think, hold on. <laughs> I want to do something real quick. Move out of the way, Billy. <laughs> I like how you get an achievement for that, trying to push something heavy. But yeah, Rebecca can't push that big steel crate. Too heavy for her. So only Billy can push it, since he has like, I don't know, ma manly strength or something. Does have some big biceps, so yeah. But yeah, he has to push it, and Rebecca controls that gate that's in the center. It also fills up the uh, the tank here, or whatever. But we can't fill it up because Billy's down there. It's too dangerous to do that now. All right, so well, Billy, I don't remember the exact way of doing this, but I'm gonna try. If not, I'll just cut to the part where I actually solve it. Hmm. I I I think. God damn. <laughs> oh my god, this puzzle is so terrible. <laughs> oh. it, it's pretty bad. Um, okay, we switched to Rebecca. We're going to tr uh, turn it left, I think, or right? Yeah, right. All right, good. Bueno. Right, and now we push this box down the way. And there's like a little gap right there. You see where that grate is at? So you can have room to kind of like dick around with it, pushing it. Yeah. Oh man, did I mess this up already? I don't know. Oh my god, what did I what am I doing? Oh I don't know Okay, let me think. Okay, I think I think I sorry got this. This is very riveting, right? Like that, right? I think so. Ah, this area just blows. Um, oh, that's right. I still need to go back and get the Magnum. Um, oh, yeah. We can't use this crate right here. It's way too heavy, so don't bother trying to use it. It's not going to work. But we do need it out of the way, though. Okay, I think I got it, yeah. This might work. It might. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we push this back down here. I know I spent a lot of time back on the GameCube version of this game doing this thing. And I remember I had a friend over one time we were doing this part. And he was just like, what is this garbage? 
<laughs> this is, yeah, it's not a great puzzle at all. It's the worst. Ugh. Uh, actually, um, no, uh, we, we're gonna push this down here, and then we're gonna turn the gate, is what we're gonna do. Yes, I, yes, we got it, all right. Okay, now Rebecca's gonna go ahead and turn the gate back, lift. Okay, turn so slow, Jesus Christ. Alright, we're gonna push this all the way down, but we're not gonna have enough room to push it in, so we're gonna have to turn the gate one more time. Yeah, Billy can't just squeeze in there. Lose some weight, Billy, jeez, you're so fat. Uh, I think that's it, yeah. We got this. Wait a minute, do I want to turn left? Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I got that wrong. All right, that's it. We did this puzzle, and that's how you do it. Just kind of follow what I did. I mean, it's not too bad once you know it, but when you're going for that S rank speed run, you you got to know what you're doing. There you go. Uh, there's a similar puzzle like this in uh, RE2, but it's. Ugh. Excuse me. I keep. Sorry about that, but yeah, it, it's not as stupid as this one. <laughs> All right, so fill up the the hole, I guess, the pool. <laughs> now we could cross, cause I guess we couldn't make that jump. It doesn't look too far. But there you go. Now we got the valve handle. And we can open that door that's over there where the leech man monster guy was. Oh boy. Let's regroup. Okay. I don't know if I want Rebecca with me when we go through there because that that guy's dangerous. I, I don't want him anywhere near Rebecca right now, considering her condition. But Yeah, we might have to leave her here because up there's there's a zombie and I'll go alone. Roger. Yeah. That's not going to turn out well. Uh, Rebecca, give me that shotgun. I said give me that shotgun, Rebecca. Are you serious? No, damn it. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Come on. Uh... I need that shotgun! Please! Ah. Fine. Uh, tell you what, um. We'll leave the Magnum ammo there for now. And give me that shotgun, please, because I'm gonna need it. I do wanna clear out an area that's up here of hunters, because Jesus Christ, they're gonna. I'm going to be going through that area quite a bit, and that it's just annoying. Oh, zombie. Alright, I'm just going to go around the table and ignore you. You're an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so now i got to use that valve handle. I could go back and get that. Oh, oh no! We'll go back and get uh, the handgun ammo over here. Get away! Gosh, man, that, guy, that guy's crazy, man. <laughs> Those... Ugh, those leech zombies, they, they suck. Alright, at least this place is relatively safe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I left the ink ribbons there on the floor. Damn it. Damn it. You know, I'm going to probably save again just in case. What, are you serious? Okay, fine. Just drop the valve handle then. I'm gonna save just in case. And also, just to try out some tactics, you know. Because why not? Try to get to here the best way possible, even though I'm pretty sure there's like videos out there that show you like what, 
you know, the best weapons you can use in certain areas and what and whatnot, or no damage runs. So I'm not going for that. <laughs> Are you crazy? Come on. No damage run went out the window long ago. But I try. I try, guys. I try. Okay, so I'm trying to think of the best approach here. Huh. Yeah, we could just... This is one ink ribbon. We're gonna just leave it. Um, actually, I might want to go back. Now that I think about it. Oh, yeah. And there are... Um, there is a gas can here. We can make some Molotovs if we want to. Hmm. Actually, I might just leave it that 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 ugh, that there for now. I'm gonna go back to the elevator and um, we're gonna explore uh, different uh, areas of the back at the factory. I do remember there's a hallway uh, with hunters in it, unfortunately, but that's the only way we could get back to the Magnum. Also, um. If we pick level one, look where it takes us. Level three, two, here you are. Hey, get that, it takes us all the way back here. Oh crap. <laughs> Is there anything here I do need though? I don't know. I don't think so. It's just the knife and the hunting gun. Still a healing item back there at the observatory, but we don't need that. So yeah, I think we pretty much got everything we need. I don't think we need to go back to the training facility, but you could go back if you want to. I wouldn't advise it. I mean, at least some areas. Some areas have the stupid eliminator monkeys. Alright, so, um, <clears throat> throat's a little raspy today, my voice, I mean. But yeah, level two. Alright, let's go. She might want to equip my shotgun. Don't have any spare ammo, no! Oh, I don't want to take damage here, but I might. Damn it. Yeah, look what's here. Magnum ammo. Eight cartridges, jacketed flat point. Nice. Well, I'm not gonna pick it up just yet. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna ammo. You know what? Since the hunter's all the way over there, we could go ahead and just shoot him from far. Why not? That is scary, dude. <laughs> I remember that would always give me the creeps when I hear them, like, just hear them, like, uh, what is it, like, growl like that. Oh my god, I hate that. There you go. They kind of sound like the, like, what those predators <laughs> sound like. I thought there was two here. I guess not. Oh, look at that. There's herbs. Oh my god, yes, there's herbs. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. I love when there's health items. Oh, that's that's good. That, that, that makes me happy. Alright, um, yeah, that's why I use the herbs here, because the stupid hunters, they gashed at my legs. Um, but yeah, we came here for the... So we didn't even need the shotgun. Oh, damn it! Now we're not going to have enough room for the son of a... Hmm. <laughs> I have room to pick up the grenade launcher because we still need the grenade launcher. It's still, still handy. And my phone went off. <laughs> I don't know who. It's probably just notifying me that somebody like went live on Instagram or something. <laughs> Take the Magnum. Oh! I'm sorry. I, I completely just... Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I was I was about to say, look, there's a Magnum. We haven't seen one. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry. I probably just sound completely 
insane right now or crazy. I'm not. I just got confused because I was looking at my phone real quick. All right. Um. So yeah, yeah, we did leave. Um. The grenade launcher right there. I don't think it has. Oh no, it's at the bottom floor. That's right. Yeah, it's at the bottom floor. All right. So we don't really need to come back here. Unless we want these herbs. Which we probably will. Since we cleared the area of hunt the hunter that was here. Only took two hits. Not too bad. Especially with Billy. He could take it. Uh. Alright. So now we got the Magnum. We could pretty much kick ass. I mean. That gun is. It's, it's handy. That's all I have to say. We probably won't use it until we get to the last boss though. Because I'm real stingy with the ammo. Um, let's see, level four, right? And I was thinking, should I kill that leech monster? Now that I think about it, no. I think I'm just gonna let him live. But I think I would just take too much more damage trying to kill him than avoiding him, which is, I guess, the better alternative. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, this area marks the introduction of uh, the naked zombies. Uh, pretty notorious zombies in the Resident Evil series. They, I think every now and then they appear in every Resident Evil game. I guess they're like test subject zombies, but they're always like naked and they don't have like any genitalia at all. So there's like no penis or vagina on them. <laughs> it's weird. Um... Yeah, we could leave the Magnum here. We don't need that right now. We could always come back and get it with Rebecca, I guess. Or Billy. Yeah, Billy. Not with Rebecca. It's too dangerous going <laughs> going through that hallway with Rebecca. Probably going to only go through that hallway with Rebecca once because screw that. This guy just blows. Ow. How did that hit me? That's BS. All right, let's go. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Come on, Billy! Like how the music just stops for some reason. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna patiently wait for you while you open the door. Alright, yes. Here we are. Naked zombies! They're over there, by the way. And there's a lot in this freaking room. A lot of naked zombies. Just use all your freaking <laughs> Damn. Just use all the ammo you got on them. Oh, that guy's closing in. Oh, shit, son. No. <laughs> oh, my God. That was close. There we go. Just reload like that. Get out of the way, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, no, get off. <laughs> you little bugger. Oh, quiet down. Oh, I'm going off. Damn. Yeah, you use, you use quite a bit of ammo. Just sit down. Jeez, I don't know why na being naked makes you stronger. Makes no sense. Yeah, look how many zombies there is. One, two, three, four, five. There's still one over here, too. But he's just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Alright, there you go. You get some ammo from that. I guess Rebecca could come over here now. It's, it's it, yeah. I don't think any uh, enemies respawn in that room. No, I don't think so. Oh my God! Shut up! <laughs> Freaking phone. Alright, so what I'm going to do is um, go all the way back, get the, the... Can you shut up, please? 
I'm talking to a phone for Christ's sake. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go all the way back uh, to that scaffold and get that magnum ammo. We gotta be careful with the uh, leaves up here. Oh no! The hell away. Go and get that magnum ammo. Actually, it, isn't it here? I can't remember where I left it. I think it's still. Yeah, I don't think I picked it up. I left the magnum here. Yeah, I left. Yeah, the magnum's there. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get it. And once we get that, I'm gonna come all the way back and regroup with Billy. And I think that's gonna be the end of this episode. Once I do all that. So I'm just gonna cut to it. Alright, so we got everything we need. Uh, yeah, uh, except for the grenade launcher, but we'll we'll get that in the next episode, so not too concerned about that. Uh, we want to climb up this ladder here because there is something up here we want to get. I think there's actually some health items too. And a file, so we're going to read that real quick. There's a zombie up here though, so you got to be careful. Yeah, there he is. Uh, yeah, there's some herbs up here. Alright, uh, we don't have the room for them right now, so we're just going to leave them we need them. Alright, here's a file. Investigators report too. We should have finished with this dump long ago when this all started. Did anyone expect that there would be guns blazing away like this? We weren't told a thing about these creatures attacking us at the briefing. Oh wow. Guess they were uh, surprised at the head haunches too. The things in the woods just starting to attack people? That had to be planned. Someone deliberately scattered that virus, no doubt about it. But the guards, our fellow soldiers, they, they must be still around. Well, whatever. Don't have to worry about that anymore. What I've got to worry about is whether to use my last bullet on myself or on a friend. That's the only decision I have to make. What a tragedy. Alright, uh... Here it is. Um... It's, a uh, red chemical. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the mixing set. So now that we got that, oh, excuse me, this doesn't appear to be useful by itself. That is one of the main ingredients we have right now that we need for later. Oh, please don't be right here. Oh, come on, dude. All right, go around. Alright, so we probably don't really need to go back up there again. Alright. Um, Billy's gonna go ahead and go on this one uh, since he has a shotgun. Uh, exchange shotgun shells. There we go. Becca stays there with the naked zombies because. Uh, this area over here is not very safe. From what I remember, there are hunters. Yep. Oh, come on. Oh, how annoying. Oh, damn it. There you go. Ugh. So annoying, but yeah, we gotta get those guys out of the way. Also, this is a pretty cool shot. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, now Rebecca could come over. Uh, oh yeah, I could give him some of those herbs that are up there. But let's get to the safe room first, and then I'll go and give those herbs to Billy. We just healed him not that long ago, but those hunters, man. And then that one bite that he got. Actually, those two bites he got from those zombies. Yeah, that didn't help. For Christ's sakes. Thankfully we don't have to dick around with those stupid hunters anymore. Here we are in the safe room. Alright. Some flame rounds down there. Oh, wow, there's even some more health items here. Go ahead and leave everything here, actually. Alright, so this is going to be the end of this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one where it'll probably be the finale. So until then...